What do you love? What do you love? What's, what do you think about? Go on, Joe. What do you think about staycations? I do love them. Random kid, yes. Can I do a bad accent if I call? Yes, you can. Uh, staycation. Kurt, I'll throw it to you since you just came back from a four-week vacation. Four-week. <laughs> what, what do you think about staycations? Uh, I've never actually had one, uh, but it sounds glorious. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you? a lot less work. <laughs> well, mm, ish. For me, I'll, I'll tell my stories, but Joe, what do you got? Uh, there's a lot of times where I feel like I need a little mini staycation after a vacation because getting the kids out and about and driving with them for a day there and back is very, very energy sucking those energy sucking vampires of kids. Uh, but no, I staycations can be very, uh, rejuvenating in my opinion. I, it is, it is in the middle ground for me. Um, because it can be just as hectic as a driving vacation because you're still not away from the family. Um, but I, I one, when I taught school for a living, when I taught EMT school, and they shut down from like the second week of December until the first week in January, and I'm home for three weeks. That's a blast. You're, you're sleeping in, Kurt. You're working on projects, doing stuff around the house, watching movies with the kids. And then, so that's not really a staycation, but I loved it. It was amazing. But we did a staycation one year um, where I took off from work for the week and we got a thing called City Pass, which is still a thing out there. You can find it in a lot of major cities have it. And it's usually a discounted pass that lets you see the sites. Uh, for Atlanta, it includes World of Coke, the aquarium. Uh, it used to include CNN Center, but I think CNN has since moved. So that's not really a thing to tour anymore. Um, it, it had a lot of different things. So we got a couple of, of city passes and we did it in the off season. So we got a discount on it. But that one day we just went to the library all day and this, so you're sleeping in, there's no rush, but you're doing stuff. You wouldn't normally do from home, but you can go home and eat and sleep in your own bed. And it is a nice, I think it's a nice break in between everyday life at home and a huge vacation however it does depend on your family because i think we did it when we only had two kids at the time and you know now with two teenagers one's out of high school one's about to be out of high school and two kids entering you know late middle school into slash junior high it is the, the schedules are not there so if we do a staycation it's just we're just not doing anything now but why do you ask joe I just was wondering what you <laughs> thought of it. <laughs> so, so I guess the, the question that I would have then is like, cause I would define a stay a staycation a little bit differently than even what you were talking about, Charles, literally okay. for me, a staycation would be, I do Jack all week long. Like that kind of sounds fun too. Like just yeah. sleep in, wake up, hang out with my wife. Yeah. And do nothing. It's the best. I've had one week of that and it's like crack. So it worked out miraculously two or three years ago uh, that all four kids, their camps lined up just right uh, for one week. So all four kids were at camp from Sunday to like Thursday or Friday. And so I told work, I'm out. You know, I'm, I don't call me, don't bother me. I mean, I'm the boss. They have to sometimes call me. But the idea was as much as you can, leave me alone. And it was. Aaron and I would stay up as late as we wanted. We got That was one of the first times I went to a local 7-Eleven. And local for me is two and a half hours away. But Aaron and I, it was, it was literally 7-Eleven. It's July 11th, Joe. The last time that fell on a Sunday, <laughs> whenever that was. And I'm like, it's 7-Eleven day. And we just got in the car and we drove towards it we we got some food on the road we just made a thing of it we ended up going to a nice dinner that week it it it's dude kurt i'm telling you that is so much fun uh when you have energy because you know you kind of revert back to your dating days or your early days and for me that was over 20 years ago 
when we yeah. got married for you kurt it was like a century ago i don't remember um <laughs> yeah. no it was i think it's just slightly more than me right i mean you've been how been long with my been? wife for uh i didn't ask for, how long you've been with her because you've been with her since like middle school I said, 41 years uh, right. so so yeah. uh yeah but no i've been married since 89 so it'll be 34 years this this year wow all right before no, we oh, i'm sorry no we're in 2024 i'm sorry 35 years this year <laughs> look i get I, I mean this i truly get it when you've been together with somebody that long there's not there shouldn't be an offensive nature to forgetting when the actual wedding date anniversary is no i remember the date it's the it's the math is hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have to add one kurt just add one buddy you'd be all right but but joe what could you do to get your kids away from the house for a week so you could have that kind oh, of vacation? Get away from the kids for a week? My well, in-laws okay, in couldn't real handle question. them for a but, week. I, you're thinking small. Think if you're guaranteed success, dude. Don't think literally. <laughs> All right, but have them hang out question. with the bobcat. <laughs> hey, send them to me for a week. I'll come back to different people. Um, Very different. <laughs> um, but the real question is, how would Kelsey do? Because Aaron wants to get mm. away and she loves when we take her little two, three day trips. But the longer she's away from the kids, the more she's not wanting to be away from the kids. Yeah, I don't know if my wife could handle being away for a week from the kids, to be honest. Yeah, no, Kurt, Kurt's like, he's sitting on his high horse up there. <laughs> no, I Kurt's honestly. Like, send him to boarding school. I, I will say, honestly, when the kids were younger, I had a problem with that. Um, and But now, great. You know, they'll be there when I get back. <laughs> well, now, I mean, now you're in the grandkid phase. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. So that your kids have grown up, they've made what I would measure a successful life being that they've been able to be happy, take care of themselves, put food on the table. Uh, so that's a different stage of life. Uh, Joe's are all uh, preteens. And I mean, my, my wife still with my 19 year old, well, he's about to be 19 with Oakland. He's a full time job. He spends a lot of time over at his girlfriend's family's house. And, you know, but every time he walks indoors, she makes me pause the TV or whatever we're doing. And like, hey, and she wants them to come. And, if he, and there are times when she won't see him for a few days. Now, I'm used to that. I've been the working dad all my life. So I've gone weeks without seeing my kids living in the same house. But I'm up before them, gone before them, those kind of things. You're working late nights. Um, it's it's just, I'm, like you said, Kurt. And it could be a dad versus a mom thing. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily just say that. But I can say for myself, it's like, hey, uh, cool, man. How's life? You good? You clean? You got all your body parts? You want some food? All right, cool. You want to play a video game? No, all right, cool. See you next week. But Aaron is is very much we gotta have and and so like Joe, we went to uh Virginia, Aaron and I for a few days recently. And even then she's calling, checking in with the kids, FaceTiming, those kind of things. And it's fine, she still goes, and it's not not a bad thing, but yeah. Uh that week that they were all gone from um to, to camp, she's stalking them on the internet <laughs> because uh, all the different camps will post pictures to their facebook page or sometimes they have apps bunk one is like an app for camps and you can and so she's constantly sending the notes and looking through every not just the photos from their group but every photo to see if they're in the background in the background so i would spend an hour playing video games while she's stalking the kids like all right you're done cool let's do something fun now so that's why she really liked Echo because she had to really look for your kids in the back. She did. She, she, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you for that reminder. You're welcome. Dad, daddy. <laughs>